I should be live now. I still like two and a half years later and I still haven't managed to actually understand how to do like videos to this. Yes, this 20 minutes video from Brody comes after a three hours long live stream that he did actually trying out uh, Plasma 6 and it's I think mostly a shorter summary of what he found during the live testing. Now, it, it, when I saw this video, like, it, 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 it was very kind in making a couple of videos actually addressing the parts that of Plasma 6 or in pl of Plasma in general that it feels like could be improved. I did a couple of videos, but when I watched this one, I was like, I kind of got angry because I disagreed with many of the things he said. If you need more proof I'm on Plasma, here you go. Here is the cube, which I... About the cube, by the way, I never thought it was coming back. I really gave it for that. But the thing is, it was removed because we switched all effects from being C++ to being QML, which made them much, much easier to maintain and develop. But of course, some effects weren't ported uh, in time for this change, so they were just dropped, such as the flip cover, the cover switch, and the cube effect. So the first two were actually re-implemented almost immediately by a developer whose name right now I forgot, I'm sorry about that. And uh, he actually, they actually received a lot, a lot of criticism for how they did it, did it because they changed a couple of details. But still Vlad, I think it was Vlad, I don't remember, somebody brought back the cube for Plasma 6, so... Still don't understand why people actually like. Yes, by the way, I also don't understand why people would use the cube. I Sorry, I I'm losing track of the important points. So this is the important part, the first important part of the video. So let's get as much echo as you want. So let's just get through it. Ways you can actually install Plasma, you can install the whole Plasma group and get a ton of different Plasma packages. You, Which you should probably. You can install Plasma Meta, which basically is the strict guidelines for how KDE probably should be installed. Which you should probably also do, it's fine. And you also have the option of just installing Plasma Desktop. Don't I do this, don't do this. Third option. Obviously, I... don't. Like, hear me out, don't. Plasma Desktop is just Plasma, the desktop and nothing else. So Plasma is a desktop environment. If you install Plasma Desktop, you just get a desktop, no environment. You're an Arch, you chose to be an Arch, you're supposed to know what you're doing. If you install Plasma Desktop, you're just getting the bare minimum. I just installed Plasma Desktop and install additional things as I actually need them. And we, we should could do don't do it but i guess you could <laughs> if you knew what you were doing and i kind of wish more people installed plasma the way that i did no don't especially if you have no interest in the rest of the kde application so if you install the meta package from plasma you're not getting the kde applications you're just getting the bare minimum for the plasma desktop environment to work which does not include KDE applications, which is a different thing entire, entirely. It's the KDE gear, and you only get the applications that are required for Plasma to work in a sensible way. Because Plasma has a bunch of weird silent errors and things that just don't make any sense. A great example of this is in the system settings, display and monitor. This is how you configure your monitor layout. This is an extra package, and it's not an extra package on Arch. It is an extra package as per the KDE packaging guidelines. If you install the Plasma desktop and nothing else, yes, you're not gonna get the display and monitor system settings. So, but it's part of the meta package that you should have installed if you didn't want to complain about this. So, why? Why is- I just uh, yeah. <laughs> monitor configuration an additional module, but drawing tablet and game controller configuration are part of the Plasma desktop. I so there's been a bit of discussion on that last thing, the um, control side of things. I actually worked on an, with other developers to be clear, 
on a new uh, controller um, system settings section that should come in the near future. Right now, it is directly within Plasma Desktop. I think those are like considered strictly necessary to use Plasma. Not sure the exact logic behind every component. There's no error, there's no pop-up, nothing tells you why it's not working, it just doesn't work. Now, Arch should be forcing you to install QT6 Quick 3D. Yeah, I think this was the bug. I don't know if it was on KD's side on, or on Arch side, but this should have been a strictly necessary dependency, which should have been installed automatically. And the thing is that I don't think that UI programs should necessarily have an uh, interface to show you an error message if you're missing any possible depend strict dependency of that project. Like, they are allowed to just crash if they are run in an incorrect setup as this was. But if it's missing, the desktop doesn't tell you what's broken. It just does nothing. It, it does on the terminal which I think is the sensible place to put error messages if you're missing a strictly required dependency. But on a wallpaper, it right now crashes my system settings, so... This is a third issue entirely. So apparently there are some bug. So either it's a packaging bug where yet another dependency is missing, incorrect code that makes the whole thing crash. It took these three issues, then it put all of these different issues together and said, oh yes, these are all the same category. They are not, they are completely different issues. Telling the user nothing is always a bug. Having no, 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 no. This is absolutely incorrect. It's not like you have to have a notification or a pop-up to tell you, hey, this went wrong. Who knows what went wrong? Like, you know, <laughs> there's some bug, like we have to discover that first. Like, I guess you could have a notification that says, ooh, something crashed. Oh no, and that's it. In theory, we do have that, but maybe you didn't install it. <laughs> I don't know. Usually we do have a crash the Hammond system that tells you, hey, something crashed. This out is kind of a side benefit of installing like I did. The reason why I did this, initially at least, is I just didn't care about most of the KDE application. Which is a very dumb reason because the meta package does not install most KDE applications. It installs the only few applications that are strictly required in developer's view to run the Plasma desktop environment. I was going to use the applications that I want to use anyway. The only part I actually cared about was specifically how the desktop itself actually worked. Then install the Plasma meta pack. Floating windows absolutely suck it's because what ends up happening is you end up having a bunch of these different windows all placed around the place and you're like oh well i want to find oh this window oh yeah okay i want to get to this window to be fair i kind of agree i actually do like tiling systems and i particularly like scrollable vms so like you can scroll around i, I like them but you know I've got it to 25 to snap to the edge and then 10 pixels for snapping into other windows. So let me address a couple of comments. First of all, uh, uh, such a minimal install is the WM way, true, but then you don't complain that a minimum, minimal install does not come with packages. For me, that feels comfortable. By default, it's 10 and 10 and I always end up missing the side here where my second monitor actually starts. On that note, you can also push the windows into the side to expand them into full screen like this. If you push it to this side, we can either get a quarter, go down further. Like, no, no this is Brody shooting himself in the foot and then complaining about it. Like, he brought this on himself completely. He could have just installed the Plasma Meta package. Plasma's native tiling. And that is the last time I'm going to call it tiling because it's not tiling. Stop calling it tiling. It's a bad port of Windows Fancy Zones. First of all, it's not a bad port. It's a good port of Windows Fancy Zone. If I press the meta button and the left key, the terminal goes on the left side and I can do this and I can do that. All of this throughout the interface in Plasma 
and honestly in any other desktop environment that I've seen is called tiling and this is the same thing with the tiling system you create the tiles and then you take a window and you tile it into a tile it's called tiling <laughs> so if we press super t which should be enabled by default it's going to bring up this layout now i think it is isn't it what do you mean it should be enabled by default down to a single tile here what we can do is choose how we want it to be split let's say i want to have a horror so it's just gonna give an over overview of how the tiling system the tiling system works on kitty plasma so let's just this is only a start to what i would want from tiling now as you can see here i've gone and removed the floating windows okay there we go we have the complete so what he's gonna say now let's just cut to the ch I guess of it uh, is that Plasma, what he wants is auto tiling or a tiling manager. That is, Kwin should create new tiles automatically and automatically tile windows into tiles. He wants a tiling manager. We actually designed this so that third party scripts can actually interact with this. They can read the tiles. I don't know if they can change it, but they can at least read them. Which means that third party scripts can actually interact with the tiling system of Kwin and can provide additional functionalities such as auto tiling. Complete lockup of my desktop. We'll try that again. Great that I captured that on video. Here you go. What I would want from an actual tiling system, just as a baseline, and I will do a Please notice that he says actual tiling system when it means auto tiling system or tiling window manager. Not that window, yeah. <laughs> if I remove this window, this window expands all the way into this section here. That would instantly make it way, way more useful. If Plasma actually wants to... I really do not understand why he didn't try out Polonium in this video because he, knew so he knows about it. I told him about it. He could have tried it out. I also don't like the way that virtual desktops are handled. I have modified my capture because window manager users will not believe the way this works. What you're seeing right now is all sounds like a clickbaity article. Window manager users, <laughs> window manager users won't believe how this works. Any window manager user out there will say, "Oh, the monitor you are currently on, that is the one that is going to go to workspace 2." No. What happens is every single monitor goes to workspace too. You know, this is actually a very old complaint. And yes, many people, not just window manager users, would like to see this implemented. I think it's not like super easy to implement it. And of course you have to convince developers that it's better, which is not necessarily easy. Then try to switch to a different desktop. You would be like, huh, why can't I switch to desktops? Turns out the reason you couldn't do it is because they didn't exist yet and there wasn't any indication that there weren't any virtual desktops. Now when you do make one, this thing is going to be added into your panel. It shows you what desktop you- So, uh, the thing is here, uh, K Plasma, we are making very strong effort into making sure that K Plasma is simple by default because everybody, everywhere, every time, Tell us, oh, Plasma is so complex, I'm not gonna use it because so many of... Till we make sure that there's, you know, ways to know about the virtual desktops and how to add them. This thing that he just said, it tells me that he didn't actually... He never, sorry, uh, got into the overview because if... The grid view, sorry. If you, if you go into the grid view, which is just, no, sorry, meta tab a couple of times, if you do that, it's gonna tell you, hey, you just have one virtual desktops. Would you like to create more? And why is it placed there? Because the grid view is where you manage the virtual desktops. So there's a place to manage the virtual desktops that tells you, hey, would you like to create new virtual desktops? And you just have to cl click a button there and it's gonna work. Side note, if anyone knows of a widget that is far less space absorbing than this, something that maybe just lists out the current desktop name, let me know in the comment section down below. That would be very convenient. Now there is- I think there is some widget like that, but 
I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna check. The micro stutters aren't as big of a deal. The locking up of my entire desktop and the effect just not running in the first place, that made me want to quit Plasma the second it happened. Now okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it, because I'm gonna get angry again about this. I know that I'm, in, I'm screaming into a wall, because I shouldn't assume that people have the same values and ideas and goals as me, but it's got 70,000 subscribers. That's a good number. And if I were in his position, and I'm less than half in his position, much less than half in his position, I've got much less than half than that, personally, I feel like if you're doing a video about Plasma 6, which is gonna be your video about Plasma 6, because it's the first video you publish about Plasma 6, that you do it correctly. <laughs> so if I have these issues on the new system, the first thing I would think is I, I try to install it, I install like GNOME 46. Let's say that I try out GNOME 46 as, as I should be doing, and it starts terribly. First thing I think, okay, I messed up how to install it. Like that's my first thought. And then I try again on a couple of machines to see if the stutter comes from, uh, from GNOME 46 or I'm, I messed up. Maybe it's this machine, maybe it's the drivers. It's, it's very good to check. I do that. <laughs> I think people should do that. I think that if you have a very wide audience, you should do that. You should check what you're doing. You, should, you shouldn't like say, oh, it's laggy. And usually what happens is that people submit bug reports. Now, sure, not everybody does, but I see all bug reports and believe me, people do bug reports about the smallest, the smallest things. So people do bug reports. Currently, or at least last time I checked, which was one week ago, but still no, less than that. Currently, there is not a single bug report about plasma stuttering when you start an effect. Brody didn't make one even, and nobody thought of making one. And this means, <laughs> this means at least that it's not a very common issue. At least, because believe me, we get like 10 bug reports about very small and niche issues. If there's a big issue that affects a reasonable amount of people, we would notice. Now for anyone who's like, ah, NVIDIA problems, no. I am using an AMD 6750 XT. Maybe it's Wayland Compositor problems? I don't know. All I know is it's annoying. Now, yeah, you, you should like try to figure out. I don't know, you, you do you. Clock right here. I also have a clock on my third monitor as well. The way I'm doing this is with the edit mode. So what edit mode lets you do is basically add in these things called panels. Uh, to be clear, sorry, let me also address this. Is bad UX a bug? Yes. Feature request, also bugs. Anything actionable that you want developers to do, also, almost anything at bug report. Now, it's, it's not misinformation, to be clear. It's completely truthful to his experience. Absolutely. I just don't think that his experience is any representative of the wider feedback that we received, which was overwhelmingly positive. So this bar down here is called a panel, or we can add in widgets directly. So I want to add in something like an analog clock. We can just put By the way, this is a bug. Did you notice that? I did. I did. This is a bug. And this is a bug that I was supposed to fix. And now I'm wondering, did I forget? I'm pretty sure I was supposed to fix that. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody assigned a bug to me. Did I fix that? Did I completely forget about it? I probably forgot this if section. If I want to add something like a... Yeah, so the application dashboard. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, Brody, <laughs> watch your videos and do a bit of... No, sorry. Uh, now I do sound a bit too much of it. It, it says right here, a full screen application launcher. So obviously, if you add it to the desktop, since it's a full screen application launcher, it's not gonna do anything except give you a button to click on because it's full screen. <laughs> I think it just wanted to add the application launcher or the application menu, I just got confused. Happens, but you know, you, you can notice this in the editing 
piece. <laughs> I don't know why that's not working. Is this one of these uh, silent errors that... Yeah, and immediately, instead of assuming that maybe it did something wrong, no, immediately it assumes that it's Plasma 6 fault and it assumes that it's the same issue that it was having at the beginning of the video, even though, why would it be? <laughs> Okay, it's weird when I drag between screens, apparently it lags a bit. I can make it massive if I want to. I can do whatever I want. This has tons and tons of customization. Sure, so if you watch I someone like notice. Nico Loves Linux, you probably know a lot about the- Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am doing a hell of a negative video about this video, but- If we somehow get it to bring up the thing, I don't know why it's not appearing actually. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this was another thing, but it did a whole video about this. So he wanted to enter the panel edit mode, so he right-clicked the desktop, obviously not the panel, the desktop, and he entered edit mode of the desktop, which cannot be the same edit mode of the panel because you might have multiple panels, you might have lots of panels. How can I know which panel you want to edit? Or maybe you don't want to edit a panel, but actually want to edit the desktop. There's, and then got confused that why he couldn't enter the edit mode of the panel, which is a button with a configure icon on the bottom right. But fair, we could improve on that. Back in there. Manage desktop and panels. Uh, there's <laughs> supposed to be a little pop-up window that appears here, but sometimes it just doesn't appear. I'll cut back to when I can get it open. Yeah, so I couldn't get the window to appear. It just, it's not showing up. If you do see a dialogue here- You just have to right click the panel and click configure panel. By the way, it's, it's that simple. I, I'm sorry, but yes, we have to improve it. I know, I, I agree with you. Here, it'll have the option to switch between floating and- I think it's not edit panel. Okay, no, fair enough. It's still edit mode even on the panel. Yeah, that's fair criticism. And not yeah, loading. Yeah, yeah, I right. like my bars just being on the bottom of my screen. Edit mode when it works is really cool. Just make the edit mode full screen and use a copy of the data center. Eh, 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 very tough to do, but maybe. Sorry. If there's lag again, let me try. I don't know. The, cool. Yes, partnering together to for a couple of weeks to fix all the issue he raises. Cool, but not how it works. I'm not gonna... He should submit bug reports. Bug reports are gonna be reviewed by developers. We're gonna discuss about those bug reports and we're gonna decide how to move together. Things don't get fixed because a KD developer, YouTuber, partners up with another YouTuber and then they work together. That's not how it works. Well, why would his bug reports be treated any different compared to everybody else who has the same right to have their bug fixed? I, mean, I, I don't like the idea, honestly. But like a lot of things in Plasma 6, is still kind of rough around the edges. Before I move on, here is the camera widget, a widget which is kind of broken, which is Firstly, hallucinating a second camera which doesn't exist. I don't have something called the Camlink 4K, Camlink 4K. I just have a. I, I, I wish I did. Sounds very cool. The Camlink 4K. I want one. I don't know what it is, but I want one. <laughs> oh. One camera plugged in. Is the camera also, broke? Yes, the camera what broke. What does suspended Fantastic. mean? The camera you are seeing is currently in use, so. Is that supposed to mean it's in use or it's not in use? I genuinely don't know. I this is fair criticism, to be clear. I want to try to make this video more positive, but it's really, really hard. One more thing. So I am going to stop here uh, due to <laughs> not technical reasons, but the simple fact that in less than five minutes, I have a work meeting. Please, everybody, do go ahead write comments and say what you think about this whole thing and I'm just gonna get to work thanks everybody for joining and see ya so what do you have mud not one top not try what a prime botch what a pity chat of course
crosser, the king of flow of open source, and you know why yours is such a blow, Alexa Force, you're using on that's your fault, I'm on key DE with no remorse, but default is not a woe, it's made for pros, not one bloke thin man, and I've even done the flowing panel, news to you, try following the channel, the patch was as easy peasy as first time receiving our reviews, we ain't the same Y'all just nitpick and blame Quit bitches lame I got involved, I don't just claim Devolve my time to make a change Don't know my name, well that's not strange I'll just shrug, resolve more bugs And I'm profane While you skip the clip When I bend with no left shame Chip in a tip or some spare change Yeah, I'm a small fish out there No doubt, it's fair I just record and share A devlog on a Sinclair I get bored if I prepare A script or what? To wear a quick with a phone that sucks in my girl's prayers That my pure luck YouTube will make me a billionaire Still I did a sick thing with Nick 